these, you guys. These are so cute. My voice is deep because it's early in the morning, girl. So, hold on. I made this for D. Y'all heard me talk about D before. She's my girlfriend who does a lot of events, event planning here in the Valley, including the Big Natural Hair Show every year. Which, by the way, I don't think I'm going to be participating in this year because I'm just... I'm a little bit burnt out on it. I mean, I've done about four hair shows. Anyway, so I made these bow ties for her little boy. Aren't they so cute? So, um, yes, this dryer is on the table because I am returning this. I cleaned this. I uh, cleaned it the best that I could, but they do accept returns for the blow dryer. <sighs> First of all, I only blow up my hair maybe two or three times a year. The amount of time it took me to blow out my hair with this thing, and granted, I, I got some comments that said that, you know, I should probably um, do, do smaller sections. Do you know how long it would have taken me then? I would guess if I would have blown out my hair in smaller sections, well over an hour. We're talking about an hour and a half. Uh-uh. No, this is not worth the time it took for me to do my hair. Um, so, yes, I'm getting my $30 back. I am returning it. This morning, I have a lot going on this morning. Look, my bonnet is still on. Have a lot going on. I, not, I have a couple of errands to run, but I ran out of creamer and I need some coffee. So I just, I mean, I don't really have a lot of errands to run today. I just have to go out twice. That's what annoys me um, because I need to go to the grocery store and then midday, <clears throat> I'm gonna go get my nails done. <clears throat> Sorry. And then we're gonna go out tonight, y'all. Going out for me is a huge event because I don't get dolled up all the time. I mean, Y'all heard me say, like, this is what I look like on an everyday basis. My hair don't be done. I did my hair last night. So we are we are going out to eat tonight. And in the morning, of course, we're going to church. We're probably going to do the 11 o'clock service. My church has gone down to two services. They used to do three. And honestly, I don't see how these preachers do it. One thing I have been doing, though, is while I'm ordering my products through Amazon, I'm doing, I'm ordering something else, a product that'll help me to recover after my breast reduction. So like this last order with the Allocate Naturals, I included the Palmer's um, coconut oil, or it's the Palmer's oil. And then the next order, I'll do like some snap front bras, a pillow wedge, um, a stretch mark cream, stuff like that. So I'll, every other month or every month at this point, cause we're getting right around the corner. May is gonna be here. So every month, I'm adding something to my order. That's one of the reasons why I'm ordering all my hair products through Amazon Plus, because I get free shipment. Yeah, free shipments. Why am I popping my tongue? Yeah, I'm sorry. So anyway, um, what else, what else, what else? I am leaning towards a career in business analyst, you guys. I really am. So what I started doing earlier this week, because I think this is one of the things you have to get out of the way, out of the way when you are planning, you know, goal planning or whatever you want to call it, um, what makes you uncomfortable? Think of that if you're avoiding certain situations or, um, I don't know, like public speaking, like I mentioned, you're not necessarily growing. So I literally listed out my fears. What am I afraid of? And I told y'all one of them is reporting, but not just career wise. Like what am I afraid of in my life? Another one personally for me is getting sick. I'm a damn hypochondriac. I'm afraid of JB getting sick. Identifying my fears is on my to-do list this week and um, reading up on my scriptures because really what it boils down to is that I'm not trusting in God. So then that fear is coming up because that fear is coming from another source and it's not light. Does that make sense, y'all? So identifying my fears, uh, aligning a scripture to each fear, um, and what can I do to overcome this? Why? Where is this coming? Well, y'all, I am out running around. I ain't ran another errands I said I was going to run. Staples doesn't even open to 10. I need to get a printer because I was printing out my return little letter. They don't open up to 10. And um, I was going to run in and... Uh, when they open and go ahead and print it out, but I'd already sent it to their printer. So I'm not gonna pay double. So I'm just gonna wait till they tell me my printout is ready. It'll probably be Monday, I don't care. Um, so then I stopped by Roz, looked around. There was a bad purse there that I wanted, but it was $40 and it's not in my budget. 
Uh, didn't go get my nails done because girl, I got I got the bubble guts. I've been eating way too much dairy. I, I don't know what makes me think that I could mix regular milk with almond milk. I'm gonna go, I'll just do a little bit of, bit of uh, regular milk with my almond milk. Girl, you can't do that. You lack those intolerance like every other black person in America. You, you, you can't do that. So I've been doing that all week long. Sometimes twice a day. Girl, so needless to say, I, I'm, no. I can't sit down and get my nails done because I have to get a full set. That's going to take minimum 30 minutes. I can't sit there with Tina and be like, I need to run to the bathroom. <laughs> but I figured if I walk around, the bubble goats ain't got time to settle in. Not not trying to go there, no no TMI. But it ain't got time to settle in, you know. Like right now, I need to, I need to get on the road because I can feel it bubbling. <laughs> yeah, I took some medication. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought that I can mix that dairy, that regular milk. I normally don't drink any milk at all. Um, and all week long, like I said, I've been mixing regular milk with almond milk. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I can't do that. So let me go ahead. I'm going to stop by Mountainside Fitness. It's early. It's not even 11 o'clock. I'm going to stop by Mountainside Fitness and um, like I said, switch up my membership to only include myself. And I'll just return that blow dryer next week. Look, Plush Fur was out. You're absolutely correct, girl. She just mentioned on my video with the Revlon Styler that she's like, it doesn't even look like your hair. What did you say, sis? Basically, there wasn't a big difference between this blowout and the blowout I did two years ago using the tension method. You're absolutely correct because my hair didn't stretch out all the way with this blowout because I couldn't get to the root. So I'm returning this damn thing and I will probably blow out my hair before I go to Texas again in September like I did last year. Um, I can get a banging blowout using the tension method, you guys. I'll link the video below. So yeah, and then I didn't even mention this in this video. In the video, depending on how you use it, the the tool, you can actually make your hair frizzy. Anyway, y'all, let me go ahead and go to um, what did you say? Anita Washington just wrote something. Let me go ahead and go to Mountainside Fitness and go home and lay down and rub my belly. Whoo, y'all. Got back from the store and, well, not from the store, just running errands. And um, my husband comes back. He has Shady with him. And he's like, I'm, uh, he's just going to wash his car outside. I'm like, whatever. Wash your car. I'm busy on my computer because I'm actually at home doing uh, training for my job. I decided to go ahead and sign up, from, sign up for some classes through my job and just take them on the weekend. Cool. Couple of minutes pass, like 15 minutes pass, and I hear a loud, loud, almost like a, not like a loud banging, but a muffled bang. Like, are you freaking serious right now? He's backing up. As he's backing up, he hits my car a second damn time. Y'all, I, I don't cry often, but I almost started crying when I saw this shit. He finally was able to straighten out his, his, his car and he drives in, pulls in, I'm sorry, he pulls into the, to the garage. He takes a few seconds in his car because he knows I'm pissed because I'm looking at my car like you have got to be out of your damn mind right now. I'm just looking at my car. I'm scaling it. I'm looking at the damage. I'm like, you. both of my doors. The passenger door and the driver's door have huge dents in them. Huge. You have to excuse the lighting. So, he gets out and he's like, they're too close. They're, they're too close. I'm like, what are you? We've been doing this for years. Parking in the same garage with bigger cars. We both had SUVs and we were able to do it at one point. He's like, it's too close, it's too close. I'm like, Negro, is there something wrong with your cataracts? Like, I didn't know what to say. I didn't, even, I didn't even say anything. This is what I was thinking and internalizing. So he's looking at his car. He's like, oh, I got some damage too. He has a long scratch. But compared to my damn car, you, 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 you. you. So I called the insurance company. $1,000, $500 deductible for me, 
500 deductible i said you know let, let me call you back I, I i said you know what just i told her I said, let me let me just call you back because a thousand dollars oh my gosh and it would be totally different if these were old and busted cars both of our cars are less than three years old actually we, i think we both got our, our our cars in the same year two and a half years old oh my god you know what i'm i'm gonna have some hard liquor tonight i said i wasn't going to but, but it's a hard liquor day let me go ahead and drink plenty of water so i don't be dehydrated yeah because yeah and i'm gonna have a burger too hey you guys here is my date night hair isn't this cute a little flower bun on the side unraveled once so y'all the extent of the damage of my car uh so can you see how it you can really see it from this side it's really hard to see it dead on but you see that dent here and a dent in the back lord have mercy i mean oh, yeah. that's in a shade booboo so they can see you look <laughs> he's so cute this is one of the this is one of the bow ties i made him all right we are back home from church. Excuse the background noise, my husband's talking. Excuse the oven, I'm cooking. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm cooking real quick. Church was good. The message was exactly what I needed. Let me show y'all what I'm cooking. Because I had to get, I know, I know I need to get a day. I'm always at Staples, they know me. I told y'all they know me so so well to where I wasn't even paying for my print jobs until recently because I was like no I so anyway y'all I want to say this real quick before I um, run off to Albertsons and run off the stuff um like I said before I left home earlier that uh this Sunday service was awesome and I really received it and he really preached on remaining focused not being distracted which i think that in today's society it is real easy to get distracted i mean with all the stuff going around this I, I feel like with social media this era of social media and information being at our fingertips the gossiping and all that is at a, a all high level i think and everyone's into everyone's business because you can um and people can share so much of, of their lives and real like i said real time information i just feel like it's all oversaturated with junk but then you become sometimes you can become engaged in that okay but that's a distraction in my opinion all of this stuff with oh god with t.s madison and all of that stuff and now they're bringing in youtubers i can't go there so i try not to get distracted like that i've been really focused in my mornings with my morning's routine like i said i've been getting up i immediately get up drink water take my vitamins every day i've been trying to take my vitamins i do some light stretching um and i get right into what i need to be doing for the day it needs to be productive i'm tired of wasting time Let me show y'all what i have going on up in this kitchen i know i'm always cooking so today's gonna be a busy not today this week i need to get some stuff done so I'm going to be cooking, right now I'm cooking my husband's lunch and fixing my stuff for the next three days. Um, so let me show you what I have, have already, and JV. JV has been on a pancake kick. Try to go ahead and do it in advance. Anyway, let me show you what I have already done over here. I have salad for me for lunch today, for a salad for my husband later on in the week. So he has three options for three days in a row. We have salad that I'll put some chicken on top. I'll show you what the chicken looks like. This is some spinach. This oil here is all olive oil. And this is wild rice. I have some condiments on over here because I'm gonna hook some stuff up, girl. So, the corn you see here, which I just turned the eye off, the corn is gonna be for the topping of our salads. And then I have extra wild rice here for me for either today or tomorrow. I have some mixed veggies over here that I need to stir up that are gonna go with, um, uh, both the spinach and the uh, the spinach and the wild rice and then I have one pack of the chicken literally I'm gonna put three slices of chicken on each meal I'll have two slices today so let's see there he will have two on one three on another and I have some more chicken in there so that's defrosting in the fridge right now 
So if I wanted to, I can cook chicken by the third day. Um, he doesn't have to have meat every day too, as long as he has a balance of food. Let me go ahead and drain this. I need to do my dishes. Oh, yeah, it was so funny. I was at Walmart a couple of days ago and one of the checkout ladies that I speak to every now and then, she's like, so are you, are you a stay at home mom? I said, no, I work from home. Um, I said, the reason why I'm up here all the time is because I cook all the time. I cook almost every day. Oh, I do, I cook every day. And she was a little intrigued. She's like, so what's a typical day for you? I'm gonna let this drain and cool off. She's like, so what's a typical day for you at home? And I let her know. I said, I get up, I cook, I clean, I make sure my child is okay. We do at home activities as far as learning. We go to the park. I told her, she's like, well, that's, she's like, that's what I want. I want that life. And I let her know. I said, girl, it is all, it is not, it is not easy. It is not all uh, fairy dust and unicorns. You know, it becomes very redundant. But to me, it's stability. Um, that's what it, you know, represents for me. And it's good to grow old with someone. So, yeah, but I feel like not everyone is made to be married, in my opinion. So, anyway. I'm going to pour some barbecue sauce on top of this and um, you know what my spoon broke so let me get a plate to put this you always want to have something that's like, don't don't be putting your utensils directly on the counter because now if this okay baby if this was raw chicken now I'm contaminating the counter have something to set your your tools on that you're using to cook Y'all, I'm looking at the first 48 hours and hold on, baby. People, y'all, y'all better wake up. Demon possession is real. Have y'all ever seen cases where uh, it's been a brutal murder? And in this case, it, ha it happened in Birmingham, Birmingham, Alabama, and the kid killed, stabbed to death three of his family members and burnt, burnt, tried to cover it, cover it up by burning it down, burning the apartment up. While they're doing the interview, he breaks down and he says, it happens, this is classic. It happened so fast. It was almost like it wasn't me doing it. I don't even, it, it wasn't me doing it. I feel like it wasn't me doing it. It was like, and then sometimes you hear it was almost like I wasn't there. It's, um, I'm, I'm quiet because it's early. It's Dr. Seuss Day at school tomorrow for JB. So this is so adorable. Um, Y'all, I keep crafty stuff on hand for situations like this. I'm not buying anything. So this cost me nothing. He had an extra white tea in the back. So this is the Sam I Am character. And we have green eggs and ham. Ooh, hold on, y'all. Shout out to Houston, Texas. Y'all, Paul Wow. I know I'm not the only one who thought that Paul Wow was black. Then when I saw a couple of, um, because I, I used to listen to y'all. I, I love me some ratchet trap music. I used to listen to a lot of underground music and mixtapes. So then when, you know, uh, they kind of went mainstream, like him and Mike Jones and Slim Thug, all of them. And uh, what am I saying? The video came out. I'm like, oh, so he's just high yellow. He's just light skinned. Girl, girl, stop. He is white. <laughs> Paul Wall is white. Anyway, I just dropped off um, some brownies for the chiropractor office. And, I'm, and I put aside a little bit of brownies for his family. The doctor, the chiropractor. He's young. Well, girl, he has a lot of kids. He has like five kids. Is this camera dirty? Hold on, y'all. A little better. Yeah, the camera was kind of dirty. Um, Yeah, so yeah, I dropped that off just now. And now I am looking at JB's boot camp for summer. Y'all, summer camp is coming up around the corner. And... If you pay before March 2nd, they get, um, they'll give you 10% off and they waive their registration fees. So I'm going to stop by, sign him up, and um, I'm gonna ask them if they can make me a copy of this or if I can just have a copy. I, I want a copy of this. And um, how can I pay for it? 
check cash. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna go get some cash then. I'm gonna go get some cash. Oh, can I use my credit card? I'll get some cash because I need to pay for um his what do you call it? His school anyway. I gotta get out of life for this is a damn shame. Between boot camp and school, we're looking at $800. For, yeah, five, six, seven, no, 700. <laughs> I'm so ready for him to start kindergarten now. I know there will still be expenses, but we're paying for, you know, tuition monthly and extra expenses if they want to do, you know, any extracurricular activities. He's signing up for karate. That's going to be $150 a month. You do the math, girl. One fifty a month for karate, he, but he needs to do something. Um, Cause JB has been, y'all. I feel so bad for my baby. When I dropped him off yesterday, he started crying. That was the first time he has cried when I dropped him off, and almost half a year. It's been, it's been a while since he's, and I mean like not just but full on I could see the tears welling up and I knew he was you know he kept trying to hold my hand and that broke my heart um JB even though JB is very animated and y'all see him on here he has some self-esteem issues meaning he doesn't think that he can do his school work um he second guesses himself so we were sitting down and I was helping him. When they when they get to school, they sit down, they have to have a worksheet in front of them. So um, I'm like, okay, you need to sit down, do your worksheet. And the other kids are flying like this through their worksheets. I mean, these kids are getting done in their worksheets in less than five minutes. And he's sitting around staring, looking at people. He's getting distracted, looking at everyone who comes in, looking at the children next to them, next to him. And I get it. Five years old, you know, you're not that focused. You know, it's really hard. And they, honestly, they're wired to not be focused. They have millions of neurons going off in their head. They're really not supposed to be focused. This is why people think that everyone, all these kids have ADD. No, they don't. Their brains are not wired to focus, okay? It's the, to a certain degree. I mean, anyway. So... I sat with him for a few minutes, right, and tried to get him to get through his worksheet. But when I dropped him off today, he was fine. And his teacher told me, she's like, you know what? He's getting through his worksheets. I don't know what you've done at home, but he's, I'm like, I talked to his ass. <laughs> no, um, but she said that he's doing really good at work and I'm mean, at school. So what I have been doing is just encouraging him and letting him know that he can get through his work and he just needs to sit down and focus on the job at hand. He needs to focus on his work so that he could get what they call a prize from the treasure box. Um, but I've also been trying to work with him at home a little bit more so that he could build some confidence and so that he won't feel like he can't do his work in front of other kids. At home, it's a different story. He's comfortable at home. He's, he can get through his sight words, his letters, his phonics. He's cool because I'm there encouraging him high five. But when he's in the uh, situation where he's at school where there's other peers and there's 15, 20, not 15, about 15 kids and they're looking at him and the teacher can't do one-on-one, -on -one, that's when he starts to second guess himself. So, so yeah, let me go to the bank, get some cash. And, uh, oh, she's so adorable. Look at her car. She's had this car since the 70s. Y'all, I love old people. I love old people and babies. I love that. I'm from Port Arthur, Texas, representing till I'm dead. Pimpsy. Let me tell you something. When you ask God for direction, be prepared, baby. Be prepared. I've been praying for the last, for all year really, for uh, really to show me a direction on what steps I should take in my purpose. And I was in my back guest bedroom going through some boxes and I found not only one but two, and I can't really show y'all most of this because this is uh, company information. I found two binders of resources. This is my new hire orientation from 2011. Granted, a lot of the stuff in this have, have changed, but the foundation is still the same. So I can go through here, brush up on my company because, yeah, girl, I forget stuff, to be quite honest. And this is a lot of information. Again, I can't show y'all everything. 
um, do some confidentiality. But anyway, I'm gonna go through this over the course of the next few weeks. Um, and then I also found from my previous job, I mean, I, I can show y'all this cause whatever. Um, I told y'all I worked for Apollo Corporate University that owns University of Phoenix. And look at this, project management journey. I don't even remember taking this, but I have a lot of information here on project management. I mean, it's about 50 pages here of information, project management extensions. Back here, let me show y'all um, JB's school supplies that I organized earlier this week. Uh, this is just supplemental stuff, okay? So in this little bin here that I got this from um, the Dollar Tree. Y'all, why am I trying to open this with one hand? Hold on, there we go. I got this from the Dollar Tree and a lot of these flashcards were even given to me by a neighbor or I also got them at the Do Dollar Tree um, or ordered them online. I uh, have some little people difference cards, addition and subtraction cards. Actually, I think these are just addi addition. Uh, some sight word cards. It's in here. So this bin just has um, things like my markers, extra index cards, paper clips. He has his crayons in here, Sharpie, map colors. Um, this is coming even more. Post-it notes, like I said, a bunch of crayons. I just throw some stuff in here, you know, pencils and everything. The second one has mostly books, workbooks, and um, we have these cute little sight word books that I got from the Dollar Tree. Don't sleep on the Dollar Tree, okay? Different folders that I just purchased these folders on Friday. Let me get these all out so I can show y'all. And they're divided up by subject. And then this is my blue folder, my, my blue binder, excuse me, that has some stuff in it, what I've been working on. So he comes home with certain, um, worksheets that either he's completed or he needs to work on and I'll show you all that in a minute but this is a curriculum that I created for last year for uh, last year and going into this year but of course I'm now having to reschedule things out for this year starting for March um, and I divide things up by reading, writing, African-centered, math, science, and social. So for like this month, which is technically, it's the 28th, but hey, by the time I load this up, it will be. Um, so for example, for African-centered, we're gonna be covering West Africa. Perhaps we're gonna color some um, maps of Nigeria. Perhaps we're gonna talk about some famous leaders in West Africa. We're gonna listen to West African music. Um, talk about famous black leaders. As far as science, we have space, we have plants. Social, we're gonna talk about our feelings and go over family names. So that's what I have. I haven't had to do anything as far as edit. I'm gonna keep to this for myself. Um, and again, this is just in addition to what he's doing at school. So we have something like, we have spelling here. Let me just put these in my lap so y'all can really see them. Probably would have been better if I put this down, huh? And y'all, excuse my handwriting. Maybe I should work on that. We have spelling. This blank one is for social studies. Uh, geography, phonics, sight words, uh, science, and etc. So let me show you for the examples. Y'all saw there in the uh, curriculum layout that for science, I had, um, what did I have? I had space. So that's what we're gonna focus on for this month. Space and plants, actually. Maybe we're gonna grow a plant. Perhaps we may go to, um, they have a museum out here called the Challenger Museum. I heard it's not that great, but hey, it'll get him out the house. So for space, I have a worksheet here on all of the planets. And then we have a worksheet of rockets that he can trace his numbers. And then we have a worksheet of Neptune that he could trace that in color. So do you get the idea? You get the idea. Um, and he doesn't have to go through all this, but these are just, you know, ideas, all right? So that's science. That's just for this month. I really need to get a printer. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. The amount of printing I do, and bless their heart, Staples hasn't been charging me up until I basically told them, look, I'm gonna pay you, but yeah, I need to get a printer. So this one right here um, has the pictures of what's the difference here. All right, so sight words. He came home with these two worksheets, okay? 
So for um, school, they have flashcards. So I figured, why not? I have some index cards, cost me a dollar. So I have these index cards and I wrote all of the sight words onto the index cards. And then I went a step further and I went online and found worksheets. And here we go. So now he has a worksheet for each of his sight words. And again, this is what they also do at school. Um, and we go through it. He's, I, I give him about 15 to 30 minutes to sit down and go through his worksheets and all that. And he loves it. He likes to learn. This is another different section. So yeah, you guys, um, then maybe we may read like a little poem here and I may say, okay, I want you to find the, or I want you to find nice, not nice, or you want you to find, um, what's another good one, and. I want you to find and, okay? Okay, y'all, so that is it. This vlog is gonna be pretty long. It's gonna be over 40 minutes, so. Uh, I know I have several teachers who watch me, and even if, you, even, if, even if you're not a teacher, excuse me, if you have any advice on what areas you think that I should be focusing on at this age, let me know. I'm new at this. I don't, you know, this is just stuff that I pinned on Pinterest or looking at um, YouTube videos from other people who homeschool. Um, yeah, I welcome anything. If you think there's something else I should be doing in addition to this, if you think I'm doing too much, <laughs> Don't tell me I'm doing too much because I'm really not. We probably do this, like I said, two to three days out of the week. Out of seven days, that's not doing too much. So I like to focus on the areas he's weak on, if that makes sense. So anyway, y'all, that is it. The next time y'all see me, we should be headed to the Jamaican Jerk Chicken Festival. Yeah, so that's why I want to end this because we I'm going to be filming there quite a bit. So all right, y'all, take care. Bye.